Today's date is uh, 8 August 2023. This is the Sokamem market. Hello, beautiful family. How are you doing? Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. So, my beautiful family, today I am here for you, and as you know, I am here to give you all the latest updates back to back. For some time now, a lot of people really wish for the Prime Minister of Biafra, which is Simon Ekma, and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, which is Mazi Inam the Kanto, really have a very big conflict. Yeah, a lot of people really wish it to happen because they don't like the way Mazi Simon Ekma is taking this seat at home and the way he's just directly doing his things. They don't want it. Be that there is a problem before in IPOB. And as he stick, the IPOB lawyers, they are not also in good terms. Barrister Aloy Ejemako and Barrister Ifani Ejofo, they are no-go areas. And the family of Mazi Inam Dikanu and the leadership of IPOB, they are not also a good test. And when the coming of the Prime Minister, that is Simon Ekpa, arose, he started doing his own things according to his capacity. And a lot of people really wish that the Prime Minister of Biafra, which is Simon Ekpa, to have a very big conflict with Mazi in Amdekanu. Time without number, different issues arose saying Mazi in Amdekanu said this and Mazi in Amdekanu said that. The one that really broke the internet was the two we sit at home, feast or scheduled by the Biafra Prime Minister, which is Simon Ekpa. But it did not go well with a lot of people. Being that there is audios and text messages from WhatsApp, the conversation between the Prime Minister and one of the legal team to Mazi in Amdekan and IPOB, that is Barrister Aloy Ejimako. This did not go well with them. And what happened? They tried to stop him, but to no avail. Right now, Barrister Aloy Ejimako visits Mazi in Amdekanu, and this is what he brought out that Mazi in Amdekanu said he should pass out to everybody. I really want you to carry your popcorn and follow me bit by bit of everything that I am going to dispose in this particular uh, memo written by Barrister Aloy Ejimako saying this is one of the wish of Mazi in Amdekanu. Though you will see some things that will make you to laugh, funny and all that, but I still want you to drop your opinion in the comment section. So let us go. He said... Mother of all updates, today I met with Mazi Inam Dekanu, that is Onyendo Mazi Inam Dekanu at the DSS. He greets you all, the faithful lawyer and honest, and he instructed me as a counsel to tweet the following in quotes. One, any person or group of persons using my name, the name of IPOB or Eastern Security Network in fundraising, <laughs> Without my direct and express authorization is committing a crime with my name and I will deal with such person regardless of his place of residence. <laughs> As I said before that, the details will make you to laugh. He said Mazina Bikanu is coming for those people that are using his name to raise funds or IPOP that is coming to deal with them. See, DOS are raising funds. The family of Mazina Bikanu, they are ready fund. Autopiloted IPOP, they are ready fund. So uh, Mazina Bikanu should be ready to deal with all these people because all of them, they are all ready fund in different capacity. Yes. The IPOP leadership, they are also ready fund. The family of Mazina Bikanu, they are ready fund. The autopiloted IPOP, they are ready fund. So they should also tell Mazina Bikanu that all of them, they are ready fund. Does that mean that Mazina Bikanu authorized some people that these are the people that will be able to raise funds? And knowing fully well that there is a conflict between the money aspects held by Madame Ine Nanyaya and DOS. That is another problem. The account is blocked. So they should be giving Mazina Bikanu in total everything that is happening. Let's go. The details of the Economic Empowerment Day, that is EED, 
are very comprehensive and i will personally unveil such details once i am released <laughs> Is a magazine the can you say when it's released? Hmm. It will be economic empowerment. They want to empower the youth of Biafra. So every Monday they want to be using it for youth empowerment. The idea of endless sit at home has been hijacked by our oppressors as a means of rendering our land desolate hmm. and forcing our people to migrate out of our lands. They have through enforcing the sit at home in southeast, Gary Mandad Igbo land to now exclude the Igbos in Cross River, Akwa Igbo, Kogi, Rivers, Edo, Detsa, and Benue. Hmm. Four, I will never forgive. <laughs> hey, I will never forgive any person or group of persons still insisting on and enforcing sit at home. I take it that such person is mainly using my name to indirectly work against my release. They say that it's Mazinam the Kanu that wrote all this, that he will never forgive anybody. Now I want to ask one question. Every time people say that uh, Biafra Prime Minister is working with DSS, that is what they are saying. And later they will still be calling the federal government to come and uh, redition Simon Ekba. I don't know if somebody is getting it. They say that Simon Ekba is working hand to hand with the federal government of Nigeria. That is not working with Mazinam Dekan. He's not an IPOP member. But the same people will still be calling that the federal government of Nigeria should come and redition the person that is working with them. I don't know if this thing is making sense. <laughs> but after all this write up, hmm, he said Mazinam Dekan said he's not going to forgive the person. But yeah. Is the response from the Biafra Prime Minister? Hmm. It is tough. He said, My direct response to you is to tell the DSS and the Nigeria states, which you now represent, that the Biafra government has decided the following. This is the Gidibongo now responding to the rights of the said. This is from Mazi in Abdikanu. He said, One, from these dates, you are hereby prohibited from using Biafra in your legal business dealings as Biafra is not a company nor business. Two, you are hereby prohibited from interfering in any Biafra if you want to do your legal business. Do it, but you must remove Biafra from it. This directive is coming from the office of the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, the only legitimate government of Biafra. <laughs> Number three, tell the DSS that sent you that once they desist from interfering in Biafra affairs, that we automatically solve their problem. <laughs> Number four, if you are man enough come to Finland and challenge me. You can as well hire a lawyer in Finland. Number five, we have abolished economic empowerment day. <laughs> you know they said that Mazna the Kano said, instead sit at home every, every Monday, it should be economic empowerment day. That if he's released, he is going to give the direction how this is going to work work out with. I don't know if it's released. Is he going to do the economic this thing in Nigeria? Is he going to empower the Biafras in Nigeria? Or is not ready to work with the Nigeria government? Because if he said, Master the said if it's released, he will give the directive how they will be carrying out the economic empowerment uh, day. Does that mean that he will be in Nigeria doing this and he is going to be working hand in hand right now with the federal government of Nigeria? We are coming to that. The sin said, the Bible said that the wages of sin is dead. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. If you know, you know. Seven, he said, you have been defeated and never to rise again. Signed, Simon Epa Unjoko, Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile. <laughs> This is the right up, or this is how the Prime Minister of Biafra expressed himself. Now, 
Let's come to our question. If they say that Mazin Abdikano said every Monday should not be a youth empowerment day or empowerment force or wanting wanting day in Biafra land, according to what they wrote here, they said if Mazin Abdikano is released, he alone, he alone will come and give the details, the idea how this youth empowerment day is going to look like in Biafra land. <coughs> Are we having Biafra as soon as Mazin Abdikano is released? Or is Mazin Abdikanu working with the Nigeria government now that he's saying that he wants to do it in his own way, right, in Nigeria? <clears throat> How is he going to do it? This is a, a very tough question. And again, I want to really ask one question. They say one road close, another one will open. According to what they are saying, they say this is Biafra struggle. This is Biafra movement. That if they catch one person today, another person, another tough one, eh? Go rise up again. Come continue the battle from where the first one stopped. So now, David are rising up every day according to the way this thing is going. We are having David every day. David is rising up every day. And if Mazinab the Kanu said if he returns back or if he's released, he will come and handle all these things by himself. Is he going to do all these things from Nigeria or they're going to redition him back to UK where he can be able to make brokers and all that? Because if he's released and he's in Nigeria, know it fully well that he cannot really talk the way he wants to talk unless they are telling us that Mazina Bikanu is no longer fighting for the Biafra. I know that if I make this statement, a lot of people will come for me. But I'm just telling you because of this letter that they wrote. Because this letter that they wrote, if Mazina Bikanu is the one that writes this letter, eh, people are going to laugh at all these Biafra people. They will tell you that the master have bowed down. And I'm telling you the truth too, that the master is bowing down already. These are some of the reasons why the Prime Minister of Biafra said he's not going to take anything, you no, know, any, any, from anybody in that place. That is not Mazina the Kanu that is speaking. Because if you bring this thing to the world and say this is what Mazina the Kanu said, a lot of people will still say it's not true. Because they know who Mazina the Kanu is. They know the way he talks. If he speaks, every, everywhere will be funny like this. We all know that. It's not a joke. It's not a certain of play. It's not a certain of laugh. It's not a joking matter. So what are we not saying? And what are we saying? The truth remains that a lot of people will not believe that that is Mazina the Kanu because they know the way Mazina the Kanu will speak. That is why some persons are insisting that. Why, uh, instead of yeah, giving Mazina the Kanu barrel and paper to be writing all these things, they should just allow him to make the broker so that people will be sure that he's the one saying all these things. Eh, eh, so that everybody will know where they are standing. I will not be so, my people, because right now we are watching the scenario with our plasma TV. We are watching it in our plasma TV. Our eyes, we they look at everything when it they happen. Not that we are not seeing, we are seeing, but the thing they mean that. Instead, they are giving Mazina the can barrel and paper to be writing all these things. Why they, they just put audio, in fact, voice? Everybody understand, everybody know Mazina the Kanu's voice. They should just allow him to make a brief broadcast so that everybody will know the direction of Mazina the Kanu. So that people will know whether Mazina the Kanu is left or is right. Yes, I don't know if you are getting me. If Mazina the Kanu is sending all this, this, a lot of people will not believe because this person speaking looks so weak. This person speaking is not speaking like Mazina the Kanu that a lot of people have known. This person speaking is not speaking like Mazina the Kanu that he will say it is impossible. He will never agree, no matter what. But, yes, this is Mazina the Kanu. But this person speaking right now, hmm, this person don't bad for Jesus. This person that is speaking don't bad for Jesus. So if Mazina the Kanu made a broadcast, people will now know that, okay, oh, Mazina the Kanu, you don't tell no now, he directly say it is okay, it is finished, let's let go. Uh -huh. That is what I am saying. So for now, a lot of people will keep that to this later. That this letter never is not for Mazinab the Kanu because they know what Mazinab the Kanu stands for, who he stands for, who he represents. See, henceforth, just wash everywhere. You will hear what people are saying that, ha, ah, this thing is not, it can never be Mazinab the Kanu. Are you not telling us that Mazinab the Kanu want to surrender? Are you not telling us that Mazinab the Kanu don't need Biafra again? Not be my mouth to say here, but I'm just saying it that this is what people are saying that eh, Mazinab the Kanu did not need Biafra again. That Mazinab the Kanu, he, he wants peace. He wants Nigeria to be peaceful. And we want to really hear all these things with Mazina the Kanu. Facially, he should say it in his mouth. He should make the broadcast so that the video will go viral. So that people will know that, okay, oh, Mazina the Kanu, he don't need Biafra again. Wait till he need now one Nigeria. But he want Nigeria to stand firm. Eh, eh. 
people like us we understand because all this is that confusing people's brain now i don't know if you have idea of what i'm saying please drop your opinion in the comment section all these things are saying that they can't say this that they can't say that why they, 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 they will not just own a um, camera if they can give him barrel and paper i think they can still give him all a video a phone to make a, a, a voice note or voice over so that people will understand that yes so this is that they can video him and let and send it at least within 30 seconds everything is off so that people will now understand this position of Mazina Abdikano because now why people are adapting because a lot of people know the Mazina Abdikano that they have been with so my wonderful family has let me leave you here this is the present update from Barista Loi Jemanko saying Mazina Abdikano sent him and Simon Lekman has already responded to him please drop your opinion in the comment section and do wait to share this video if you have not started following Progress the Analyst you are losing a lot please follow us subscribe share this video you can as well join our made bashi and support this channel thank you so much and bye bye